Hello, I am Petro from Gulian Technology. In the last video I added a new hard disk to my VM. In today's videos I would like to show you how to prepare this hard disk in order to store data on it. So make sure to watch to the end, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gulian.uk. Let's get started. I am currently connected to my Ubuntu VM and let's check the OS. So I'm using an Ubuntu 22.04, but the same steps you can you can apply the same steps on any other Linux version like Red Hat or Oracle or Debian. I will check the existing hard disks with the command lsblk. If you want to find more about the lsblk command, just run man lsblk. As you can see, this command is used to list block devices. We can see all the block devices that are available and are attached to your machine. I will run this command. Let's be okay. I will add the pipe grip and I will limit the output based on the SD. Right now, as you can see, I have two hard disks, the hard disk SDA and the new one which I added currently SDB. The, hard, the first hard disk, hard disk has three partitions, <coughs> all of them are in use. The second one doesn't have any partition. So before starting, before uh, we can use this uh, new hard disk, we need to create a partition table on it. For that, you can use the command fdisk or gdisk. If you want to create, uh, let's run man fdisk. You will see what is uh, this part, uh, this command used for. As you can see, we can with uh, this command we can manipulate disk partition table. With gdisk, uh, you can do the same. So with fdisk, you can create an MBR partition or a GPT partition. The difference between MBR and GPT, with MBR you can create a number of partitions which is pretty small and uh, uh, there is another limitation. You can have only four primary partitions and uh, the maximum size of one partition is two terabytes. Of course, you can, you can create logical partitions but um, it is from one physical partition you cre cre can create multiple logical partitions but you can use also the um, gdisk for creating a gpt partition with gpt partitions uh, partition table you can create 128 uh, partitions and it is not limited to two terabytes in size in this video i will use fdisk but you can use if you want gdisk uh, the commands are pretty similar and you can create a, a, a partition table uh, a gpt partition table also with fdisk so let's run the command fdisk slash dev slash sdb uh, you can run uh, press m for help to see the list of all the commands that are available with fdisk as you can see we have a couple of them uh, we need first to create a new partition for this you need to press on the n keyword and press enter now we need to specify the partition number if the default is okay for you just press enter uh, you need to specify the first sector of the hard disk of the block device i am okay with this one and the last one is, so here you can specify the size of the new partition. I will leave it uh, as default. I will use the whole hard disk. I'll use create a single partition because this is a, just a test hard disk. I will not use it in the future. I am just showing you how to prepare the hard disk for storing data on it. I'll press enter. The program identified that this partition contains an ext4 signature because 
before that I used this uh, hard disk and I had an XT4 file system on it I will press an S and enter now if the changes are ok for you you can uh, check them with the P command to see the uh, status to see the details of the new partition as you can see the device it will be slash dev slash sdb1 here is the start here is the end the number of sectors that are uh, allocated and the size of the disk uh, of the new partition and uh, the type of linux the type of the file system we, uh, because i am running linux i am using a linux file system of course you can change this uh, file system if you want if you want to list all the known partitions you can run the l keyword and press enter and you'll see the file systems that are available and that you can create with fdisk i will use a linux one because as i mentioned i will run it on the linux um, on my ubuntu machine next it remains only to write the the changes to the disk to the to, to write the changes if we exit from the fds command and we do not write the changes nothing will uh, be there so you know before exiting the fds command you need to press the w keyword let's let's uh, write let's let me show you one more time the uh, menu as you can see here we can write the changes and exit from the S disk with the W command. Right table to disk and exit. I will press W and now I have created a new partition table on this new hard disk. The next step is to confirm that the partition table was created. I will run the same lsblk command and I will use grep sd now as you can see we have the first hard disk sda with three partitions and we have the second hard disk sdb with one partition sdb1 now we need to add a file system on this partition for this you can use the command mkfs let's run first man for mkfs and you will see that mkfs is used for building a linux file system if you check the main page you will see that you can specify the file system that you add to, that you want to add on top of this uh, partition with the dash d or of course you can use the uh, mk2fs uh, mkfs2xt2 to create an xt2 partition mkfs.xt3 to create a, an, a, an xt3 partition i will use mkfs.ext4 to use uh, to create an ext4 partition so now as i mentioned we need to create a new file system on this new partition i will run the command mkfs you can run it like this mkfs.ext4 and specify the new partition mkfs.ext4 slash dev slash sdb1 or you can run the mkfs command specify the type of the new partition with dash t and add the xt4 uh, as the file system i will press enter and now we have an xt4 file system on top of our new partition the next thing that you need to do is to mount the file system i will create a new uh, directory where I will mount the this new file system currently I have uh, so if I check my current directory I I am in the root file system and I do not have anything here I will create a, a new directory here mk uh, m, with the command m, mk mkdir make directory and I will give it uh, the name new new drive now in order to mount the new file system you need to run the command mount let's check the um, main page for the mount command the mount command as you can see is used for mounting a file system 
uh, when you run the command you can specify the type of the file system that you want to to mount with the dash t option so you can run mount dash t xt4 and specify the directory where you want to mount the file system you can use it without the dash t because the uh, system will automatically detect the uh, file system in case it doesn't detect the file system correctly use the dash t option to specify it i will mount the new file system in the new directory so i run the command mount dash t xt4 and i will specify the hard disk that uh, the new partition that i would like to mount so slash dev slash sdb1 and i will mount it in the uh, hard in the directory slash root slash new drive and i will press enter now if i check with the df uh, command the mounted the mounted file systems we can see that i have here a new the new um, partition with the new file system was mounted to the directory slash root slash new drive let's go inside this directory and let's create a new file i'll run the file i will uh, use the command vim to create a new file text.test.txt and i will write this is a new text file i will save it on my new partition and i will save the file i will press colon and i will uh, add x to save and exit from vim now we can check the content of the file with the command cut test.txt the content of the file is here as you can see now just i wanted to let you know that when you use the mount command the mount command uh, it we mounted the hard drive the new partition in this um, new new directory the idea is that if i reboot the my machine the new partition will not be mounted so it is temporary mounted if you want to mount the new partition permanently you need to use the tab the file slash etc slash fs tab let's run first the man fs tab command to see what is special about this file as you can see fs tab is, a, uh, is it holds the static information about the file systems that are mounted on this uh, on this machine you need to add a line similar to this one you need to identify the hard the new partition specify the directory where you want to mount the file system you need to specify the file system type and add the uh, default parameters and here 0 and 2 is was used for in order to to check when, when the partition has errors you can check it with the fs fsck command here as you can see so zero means that this partition will be checked first okay so let's add uh, let's uh, reboot the machine to to show you that it will not be mounted after i reboot the machine so right now as you can see it is mounted here and if i uh, shut down minus r if i reboot the uh, vm you'll see that uh, let's wait until the, new, the vm boots it is, it is, until it is rebooted it's restarted i will add my password and now if we check the file systems which are mounted you can see that there is no slash dev slash sdb1 as i mentioned we need to if you want to mount it permanently you need to add a line in the file slash etc slash fs tab i will change to root with sudo dash i and i will open the file slash etc first let me check 
pwd ls i will move to the new directory new drive i will copy this path before opening the file now i will open the file with the vim slash etc slash fstab so you need to add a line similar to the one that i have added previously uh, so you see i used this hard disk uh, before and i mounted it uh, permanently to this vm uh, in order to find this uh, uuid it is an id uh, uh, um, it is a unique identifier for the hard drive you you should run the command block block id and let's uh, grab to check only for sd for, for the our new partition so as you can see the uid for my new partition for the slash dev slash sdb1 is this one i will copy it from here i will paste the uid i will specify the directory slash root slash new drive I will add the file system type ext4. I will leave the defaults for the parameters and I will specify 0 and 0. And I will press the S on my keyboard, add colon and X to save the content. And now I will run the command mount a. With this command, you can mount all the hard disks that are specified in the uh, file slash etc slash fstab i will press enter now let's check if uh, my new partition was mounted as you can see it is mounted if i check the file which we created last time we see that it's still there yeah and if we can add some new text into it this is a new line i will use the echo command and i will append to the file new drive test.txt now let's run the cut command one more time to be sure that the new line was added to it and it is there now now let's uh, reboot our vm to confirm that the hard disk will be mounted after uh, the machine is up uh, again okay let's wait a couple of seconds and my password now let's check the root I don't have permission i will run with sudo and let's check the content of the file it's txt we can see that the file is still there